If you are weaving a long piece and need to insert a new pattern every six rows or so, you might consider putting those threads on a second heddle rod. We're going to learn how to make string heddles, attach them to a heddle rod, and use them to create a pattern that doesn't interfere with your pickup stick. To make the heddles, I just use a rigid heddle weed as my template. So I'm just winding them on the end here. And generally what I do is I measure all these in the beginning, kind of have it all done before I start tying them. So I need 22 for this project. So I'm just going to take this and tie. And once you make these, you can use them over and over. I usually use a surgeon's knot as the first one, so that's over twice, just because it holds. Because you want to try to get these the same length, because you'll see if they're not exactly the same length when you use this to pick up the warp threads, they don't all raise up at the same height. So I'm just going to get all these tied, and then I'm going to clip those ends because you don't want these long ends. And 18 inches is generous, but I don't like to struggle with too short of ends, so that's why mine are 18 inches long. Okay, so here's the last one, and then we'll just trim those, and we'll be ready to install them on the loom. And now I'm going to just cut those short. Now we can put them on the loom. All right, I have all my heddles made. I'm going to install them on this pickup stick exactly where these are on top of it. So that's going to save that pattern. I'm working from the back of the loom just so it's easier to see. And I'm going to put my heddle underneath that first thread and I do these kind of in groups. I'm just going to hold that under my finger for a while. And then I'm going to do a few more. And I like to try to keep the knots to the top. It just makes it tidier. It's, I don't think it's a critical thing. So you can see it's forming a little loop underneath there. And the thing about this, which is surprising, is this is just going to lay there. It's not going to interfere with my other pickup stick when I use it. And then when I need it, you just lift up on that stick and slide the pickup stick in. So you do have to take this second pickup stick out every time, but because you save the pattern, you don't have to pick it every time. And the reason I like to get some heddles on there before putting it in the stick is it gives enough to kind of secure the stick in there so it doesn't fall out because you have enough heddles holding it. All right, so now let's put the stick in there. And this is really helpful if you're gonna be weaving a long piece. You don't wanna take the stick out every time. So now I'm just gonna slide that in there and just put it over here and it'll just be waiting for me to add more heddles to it. So you may have a time when you even have three patterns you're saving. And you can still do the same thing. Have two sticks there. So if you were just going to do this a couple of times in a, in a weaving, you probably wouldn't want to bother with this because it does take some time to set it up. And it looks like I missed one here. Did you see that? So it's a good idea to check. So I'm going to go back here and add in a heddle there.
I'm going to put these last two heddles on and get those on my stick here. And then since I made that one mistake, let's just make sure I have everything where it should be. So if I'm picking up, I can see, yes, it's correct. So it's very easy, as you can imagine, for the stick to slide out. So I like to cover that with masking tape. Or you can use blue painter's tape too, which is less sticky. And so I'm just gonna raise this up. And I have trouble managing a long piece, so I'm just gonna use short pieces. Because I like to put tension on it so they're the length as long as they can be. And then I gotta get that bit I left out. So now we're ready to use this to weave. So I'm gonna turn the loom around and then we'll get started weaving. 